Hello and shalom everybody. It's winter time here in Israel. We just moved the clock one hour back and darkness arrives sooner now and there's less time to play with the hobby that we all love. I also like to fly FPV drones and RC gliders and now probably I'll be able uh, to pursue that hobby only in the weekends. Um, anyway, um, I wanted uh, to make a video showing a very simple and effective way to hook a battery buzzer or a battery saver for your RC car. It's cheap and effective. If you can see in this WL Toys, I have here a battery buzzer that is mounted with double-sided tape to the actual car. This uh, buzzer, I can show you another example here, it's the same buzzer. I will, link a link, I will leave a link in the description for this buzzer. Um, it connects to the balance lead. I, I get the, the, the product with a JST connector, or I'm not sure what is the name of this uh, connector, and I desolder the original uh, lead and I just cut an old balance lead for 3S or 2S or whatever that I want and I solder it to that circuit you just need two wires the plus and the last uh, minus what's nice about this buzzer that uh, after you set it and you connect it to your balance uh, lead you can set the voltage of the cell uh, that you want the buzzer to start uh, emitting light and sound. If you can see, there's on the on the board itself there's a little um, light, a LED light, and a buzzer. It is very strong uh, buzzer. You can hear it from a long distance. And if you hang this thing outside the canopy, you can also see the light uh, that is being emitted when the battery voltage reaches a certain uh, limit that you can set you can set it from 3.4 volts to 3.7 volts using that button right now the battery the buzzer will start buzzing when the voltage of a cell from that 3s lipo will reach 3.7 but i can scroll through and make it um, start buzzing at 3.4 0.5, 0.6, and 0.7. It's very small, tiny, and quite effective. When you connect it originally for the first time, every time, it will emit a sound that counts the amount of cells. So I got three cells, and now the buzzer will uh, start buzzing when the voltage will sag to 3.7 sometimes when you punch the throttle you will hear it buzzing or just humming and then it will uh, go quiet for a little bit but the more and more that you run your car and the battery voltage will drop and drop you'll start hearing it more and more the idea is not to push the cells beyond i try not to push them beyond 3.5 3.6 volt volt per cell for two reasons. A, I think it will prolong the life of the battery. And B, it doesn't take too long to balance charge uh, to storage after you run with a few batteries. So I will, link, I will leave a link to in the description for this buzzer. What you need to get is an extension uh, balance lead for 2 or 3S. You cut it and you solder it for the, to the circuit. Sometimes I... Um, solder 2s and 3s uh, sockets so i can choose whether i want to run it in my other uh, car that uses 3s or on the wl toys 14401 which uses two cells very effective very cheap i will uh, um, hope that it will assist you to save and prolong the use of your battery Hope you learned something, I hope it helps you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!